The head is mount. We are going to play. God, this is loud. Um, okay. Some game called He Beat Her. There, um, there, if you actually apparently go through it about the right way, there is a way you can get through it. You're the lawyer, by the way. If you get through it a certain way, you can find out the truth. The court appointed you for another domestic abuse case. So there is a way you can't find out the truth. It's hopeless. Your client, accused of abuse, is going to be found guilty. It's the five minute afternoon break. Your client sits next to you. His ex sits across the aisle. Right after this break is the verdict. You're running out of time to defend him. There's only one time for one more action. Type any one action, any action. Um, break? I don't think so. Uh, okay, I didn't know how to type. Um, I, I don't know. Ask? I need to say the right thing. Never mind. Uh, I'll go back. Uh, uh, what? Oh, okay. Happened? That doesn't sound like a good deal. Ooh, a hint. Here's something sorry, you can think, talk, observe, grab. Hmm. Oh. Think? Dog? Probably not appropriate. Grab. I need to hurry. What to grab? Uh, brief. I don't even think it's out of brief. Case? Folder? Game's about folder. A hint would be nice. Thank you, hint. Take. Oh. Here's a walkthrough. I'll put that up on my phone just in case I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I actually probably should do that. Sifio dot sumbler dot com slash a walkthrough. No, because I put the wrong thing in here. Yo. Stupid. I have it the wrong thing. Okay. Hmm. I, I don't really know what to do. Of course. A little bit of help wouldn't bother me. Okay. We, oh, we can ask abuse. Ask. Oh. Let's go back. Ask. Um, uh, ask. Abuse? Were you abused or did you abuse? It's quite blunt. It's okay if you don't want to answer. I was abused. That's shameful. Don't ask me that again, please. Let's break up. Your client is found guilty and is given a jail sentence of a year. Is let out of the court and you wonder. Was just as served. Rewind the time. No. A ask. But. Oh. Bipolar? What do you know about bipolar? Nothing much. Why? Your ex might have bipolar, but found a prescription in her purse. She has been acting strange, and I just can't. After the accident, incident. The incident? Ooh, okay, now that's, that's something new. You have to speak. You're in the court, man. That's break up your client doesn't stand a chance. His ex managed to get a restraining order against him. She's let out of the courtroom and you wonder. Huh. Okay. You can ask. So we did learn that the wife is a bipolar. So we are getting uh, things here. Uh ask. Turtle neck. Apparently, there's a turtle up in there. It's hot as hell. 
Oh. Why are you wearing that turtleneck? Because I'm cold. Why can I find a place for this? I don't think you're cold. I need the truth if you want to stand a chance. Look, I have some scars on my arms. It's no big deal. I fell from the stairs, that is all. That is all. You know, I don't think you can fall from stairs and get a thing. There's a scar in your neck. This? Oh, there is a scar. I didn't even see that. Ha, huh. fine. You want the truth? She came at me one day with a knife. Knife? And I had a blocker. And she headbutted me. But who's going to believe that? The worst part of it is, I still love her. This new story is valuable. There's only spoken words. You might not hold a big court. The breakups. The plaintiff has flimsy evidence, so the judge deems your client innocent. You feel like justice has not been served, however, is let out of the courtroom, you wonder. Um, uh, was there more you could have done? Yeah, I actually want to know more. Let's. I'm gonna keep adding the ass thing, and then we just go do other ones. So, this says, um, uh, Gianna? Do you know a Gianna? A what now? A girl named Gianna. I don't even know if I'm right, sorry. Hmm. Come to think of it, I think my girlfriend or ex to talk about uh, Gianna. They could have shared everything together. Stuff she wouldn't even share with me. Everything, hmm? Are you having fun with that? Damn. All I hear is the damn freaking blinds just being banged around the stick. I wonder if I could get in contact with Gianna. Let's uh, break up. The client is found guilty to give me so. No, I'm going to ask more. Justice was not served. Okay, so those are only like uh, medication, phones, and sad is all left for ask. So. Your car flashes red hair and start crying. The thought of the red hair is somehow traumatizing. The client spends the rest of the break trying to rest. She heard you. That didn't help me. Yes, things could have been different because that's not helpful. Okay, um. That was not helpful. Apparently, phones is a thing. What are your opinions on phones? Phones. I lost mine recently, actually. But my girlfriend, or my ex now, I guess. She'd always be on hers. But it's easier to distract her from it. Just talk about sad things. Huh. And he, we'd lose the case. I will. I will get to the back of this case. Alright, we're gonna rewind the time. There's a. Meh. Uh, Medication? Are you taking medication? Yeah, for pain. But I lost all my records a while ago. They were, uh... Where'd your records go? They were with my girlfriend. I wonder why she took them. I can't function well without my meds. So she's a bipolar. She attacked you with a knife and she took your meds. That's not a good thing. Didn't have to be this way. No, I'm playing again. Um, ob. Uh, I couldn't spell it. Prosecutor. She wears a summer dress, looking very innocent. In one hand, she clutches her phone tightly. In the other, she holds a huge purse. It breaks her in. She looks disgusted at you, staring. But even worse, the breaks up. Yes, we know we lost the case. What's in your purse? I want to know this. What's in that purse? I'm going to grab phone. Hey, nice phone you got there. Mind if we take a look? Um, what kind of question is that? No, sorry. Asking her isn't going to work. But if you really wanted to, you could distract her with something. I could distract? Oh. Um. 
Okay, uh... There is nothing, so I just went to approach her when no one's watching. Hey, mind telling me about Carissa? Her, she was a great companion. She smiles and launches a long story about a dog. Oh, it's a dog! <coughs> really cute! Like my boyfriend, um... You both left me, I'm so sorry. Ah, uh, you sure she's crying? She left behind a phone, you take it. Very right. I'm gonna sneeze. <sighs> you only have a few minutes to search through your messages and emails. What do you search for? There is, um, bipolar. You find evidence that she has bipolar. Okay, so she does. Word, text your friends. I can't afford the medicine. It's okay, babe. You don't need it. You're the sweetest girl right now. Notes to yourself. Dear diary, my boyfriend said this diary thing would be good for me, so here goes. Today it was really bad. The dog said I'm crazy. Well, bipolar. Same thing. I bricked my bipolar prescription. There's no way I have bipolar. I'm not crazy. It can't be. I've destroyed the- Oh. You find something else. In your chat logs. What's wrong? My boyfriend and I got into a bad argument. I'm so stressed at the diagnosis, and maybe I said something bad. But he threw a plate, and then- I don't remember. I'm so sorry. Look, here's what you're gonna do. May I find evidence against your client? You also have evidence against for your client. What will you do? Um, I don't want to go against my client. Can I go? Um, I don't know because it doesn't say anything here on the thing. Quiet. Um. Because this is just the bipolar, and then that's it. Um. With? Uh. But. Why are you not clicking there? Bipolar. Text. No. Go against the client. No. If they do find evidence, a restraining order is filed. Not against your client, but against his ex girlfriend. You promise to keep in touch with your client. You think that was all the previous domestic situations you've seen? Were they also complex? I kind of want to see more. Oh, sorry. Kind of want to see more. Um, let's. Oh god, grab the phone again. Grab. Phone. I want to see more of this. I don't really want to know. Like, what else? Nice one you got there. I know, um. Okay. Um, apparently. Well. So we can also put about the knife. Knife. Fanny Strina texts to Gianna. Ew. She sounds familiar. The texts are incriminating. So then I'm really scared. To be honest, what do you think happened? Maybe it's not your fault. Don't tell anyone, okay? Tell her Gianna that she remember anything. I woke up to bloody handprints and a bruised boyfriend. The new evidence is enough to get his ex a misdemeanor charge. Your client says he's confused, conflict about this, but overall is grateful. Was there something you missed? I, I kind of want to know. Okay, so. No. Can't spell. Purse. I see your purse. She looks at you in disbelief. What? I don't even know you. She won't budge. What she do? Um. Convince. She says she didn't know me. I need to make myself friendly or somehow. I should not. What if we, um... Okay. Face lights up as she talks about her dearest friend. I really love her. And well, she loves me back. It feels good, man. Okay. More open to you. She lets you look at her purse. She's a unique brand of trusting, that's for sure. Beyond the everyday items... They're suspicious looking medication workers. They have your client's signature as well as social security number, which you should not memorize. 
You're much further into your person. Find a ripped up prescription for. <laughs> I knew I was gonna sneeze. Bipolar medication. It breaks up. You and your client use a case. Is that a courtroom? You wonder. But what if this word the case in the eye? Okay. Um remember abuse? Did you know abuse? Maybe I've rep repressed memories of abuse. Fraud would say so. You remember a girl named Gianna? Breaks up. Damn it! I'm so interested about this. I'm like so curious about uh remember Gianna. You think Gianna had a beautiful red hair? Oh, they're so connected. Because they know Gianna. And I think I know Gianna. Smart. And strange. You can't remember anything else. You still have a number. Every time you look at it, you get an urge to run far, far away, but the client said his ex and Gianna were close. Should you call Gianna and rush it? Yes. Your hands feel moist. Sweaty. Oh, this is me. Connie. Hello, Gianna, it's me. I need to ask you about. It's been years and you're only now crawling back? Well, guess what? I've moved on. You're worthless. He, he, he's static, but I heard my client's name. He keeps his phone in my car, haha. -ha. His girlfriend's great too, but so easy to manipulate. I remember now, this abusive bitch. You need flashbacks. Her abuse was barely noticeable at first. Small insults here and there. I thought I deserved it, but I've grown. I can't let her ways destroy others any longer. Gianna will be next in court. I take the auto recording of the call. The newly found evidence convinces the judge to pass a last minute restraining order. Not against your client, but against his ex girlfriend. A day's work for you. Life's changing for him. One person made a change. Was it enough? There is. Um. Oh, okay. So apparently. If. Um, so if we did if we remember Gianna, apparently we can say, um, no, better hurry, there it passes in, it breaks up. Ah, I didn't do much else. Okay, um, okay, let's see. They think med I don't know if there's anything else, but I just want to see. You win is a lot of past cases using medical information as evidence. But you can't take it and for what the patient's from. information permission. You feel like there's something strange with the plaintiff. She will insist revealing the info. More than usual. It'd be wrong to get her info about her permission though, wouldn't it? Ah, uh, okay. Well, I mean it did do it. Um uh, It doesn't seem to be like a huge, a lot of things. But I mean, we did do it. Apparently, she did abuse him. I mean, she did go after him with a knife. No one really knows like, what happened. But, um, there's also the fact that Gianna seems to be the one making her do the abuse because she's abusive. If that's really weird, she's abusive of us. That's this is a that's a this is a very interesting game and it's also I guess goes into about being abusive and being the one being abused and going into that. But yeah, I, I do think this game is like really really interesting. Um, but anyway, I do at least I like that they have a walkthrough for it because that helps to know so you don't have to type anything and that you will be forever typing things if they not walk there. But yeah, you would, does it really like this? I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Peace! Oh, also, I will leave the link below for you guys so you guys can go do this to your, for yourselves if you want. This is a very interesting. There is other games that goes towards things like one for anxiety, um, 
Cancer. Yeah, let me know any of the games you want me to play. Alright.